What's going on, all you wild bear enthusiasts? It's your two favorite critics back here for Cinefellas, and that's right. We're back for the most talked about film of the year thus far, and one of our most anticipated films of the year. And yes, of course, I'm talking about Cocaine Bear tonight. Oh. Apex Predator. This film is loosely based on the true events of 1985 having to do with a black bear comes across cocaine and dies, has overdoses essentially. This movie, the way they went about it, drug smugglers that drop cocaine within the Chattahoochee National Forest in Georgia and a bear consumes it and goes on a murderous rampage. Everything you want in a movie called Cocaine Bear, including Ray Liotta as the drug (laughs) kingpin there that's lost his coke and needs to go retrieve it in order to pay off his debts to the cartel um, has a great cast. Carrie Russell from the Americans. Uh, we've seen her in the star Wars universe. A lot of great roles for her. Alden Ar- uh, Aaron Reich. He played Han Solo in the solo movie. Uh, O'Shea Jackson Jr. Ice Cube son also in it. And then Ray Liotta, like we mentioned and directed by none other than Elizabeth Banks, who had a strong, uh, you know, comedic uh, acting career back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Who's who's, you know, names of comedy she worked with, Steve Carell, you name it. And uh, she's directing this one and definitely brings her comedic uh, tone to this film. And the movie goes off the walls. Right away, we get right into the shenanigans with this cocaine-fueled bear going on a rampage and just all the gore and brutality that you want to see on screen, and it uh, definitely does not skimp out on that at all. Frenzy on the news, it's all over the place, so there's a lot of people involved in this, finding out that there's a bunch of cocaine dropped in the woods there in Georgia, you know, it sets up a lot of different characters that you already named, you know, people going after it, people that, that was their cocaine, like Ray Liotta behind us, the, the perk ranger, kids, just a bunch of different <laughs> groups of people they introduce in this, and it goes about it in such an 80s campy way that, you know, of course, we're going to love it. Um, it just has fun, doesn't take itself serious, and it's just one kill scene after the next. Uh, set up, you know, with the young kids finding it, and they're like kind of eating the cocaine, and they're like, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it sets up the film and what you expect cocaine bear. So, even kids doing it, <laughs> and one by one, the bear, you know, is coked out of its mind, comes out of nowhere, and starts killing people the most brutal and grotesque kind of way. And, uh, you know, introduces a lot of visual effects, which were hit or miss throughout the film of the bear itself. But they did throw in some practical. I could tell, like, the claw would come out of the bush. You could tell it's just like a big <laughs> yeah. hairy paw or practical effects, you know, stuff like that. But the visual effects overall, it's what it looks like behind me. It's somewhat believable, but not totally. Um, but what do you expect with a bear, you know, snorting cocaine, eating cocaine? It's not going to look, you know, can't do that really with practical, I guess. Um, but that sets up the rest of the movie, essentially, one by one. Uh, you know, them trying to find this cocaine, this bear keeps consuming it, killing off, you know, all these different characters and really setting up a, a great time. It's really like a big budget version of Sharknado or one of those movies right. where you get, you know, a crazy animal on the loose and then, you know, all this, you know, crazy shenanigans that happen along the way. It gets super powered by this cocaine and ravages everybody in the way. It doesn't matter who you are. He goes through you and, and, to accompany all the brutality and all the fun and comedy on screen is a great score full of, you know, great uh, classic hard rock songs sprinkled throughout. It's just a great time that adds to the fun of the movie. And at, at about an hour and a half, I believe, which the film is really flies by and you have a great time throughout. It's just a blast to watch. Everybody's having fun on screen. You get Ray Liotta in the role, obviously with the, the wig on, and he's fully committed to it, playing this part, his last part uh, in a film. And he really gave his all, as did the rest of the cast, really. There are no weak links here. We haven't seen um, Alden Ehrenreich, uh, who played Eddie 
in there. We haven't really seen him in a lot of roles lately, but he came back for this and really does a good job as like the the son that's in charge of trying to find this for his dad and then working with O'Shea Jackson Jr., uh, David, his character. The two of them kind of going across and coming across all these people that have been in the park and have seen the bear. And then eventually they lay their eyes upon the bear and they have to get away and help find this Coke. But it's just a really fun adventure movie, just as ridiculous and over the top as you want. And some great uh, one-liners, jokes throughout. It's filled with fun. It's an awesome movie and everybody should check this out. And like we were mentioning before, we can't wait to add this to the collector, uh, you know, our collection. And um, just like the title says, Cocaine Bear, it's just, uh, you know, cocaine fueled fun for an hour and a half. What better way to spend your night? A few uh, standout scenes that I was thinking about. The scene with Bob, he's the cop that shows up. Isaiah Whitlock Jr. plays him. He's been in quite a few movies, but that scene the with The Wire, him, too, yeah. The Wire, yeah. With The mm-hmm. scene with David and uh, Eddie. And basically, he's on top of the bear, <laughs> shows up, and he's, like, throwing cocaine off of it, and the, the bear's sniffing it. Um, setting up some really funny scenes there. The, the bear falls on one of them. Um, just one great scene after the next. You know, it's either comedic or it's, like, really gory. The limbs flying off and mm-hmm. the bear going nuts. You, you don't know what to expect. Um, another great scene that um, I was trying to think of here is the scene, the bear goes up the tree, the guy's up there, and the way that that all ends for that dude is, is pretty brutal. But the, <laughs> a few scenes that stand out, but yeah, the, the whole movie's pretty pretty balls to the wall. Hour and a half, you know, flies by super quick. You have a great time. It's a movie you have to check out in the theater. You know, enjoy the score, the music of this movie is top notch. Us both love the 80s music. It's filled with it. It's a 1985, the heyday of music and movies, so really pay homage to that. Elizabeth Banks knocked it out as director. And I just had a really great time with this being a huge lover of bears in general and just seeing my favorite animal, you know, snort a bunch of cocaine and just kill people (laughs) is everything I wanted in this, you know, 2023 and more Um, exceeded my expectations. It's a movie I'd rewatch again and definitely a buyer for me. So with all those reasons, I'm going to give Cocaine Bear not playing in theaters. I'm going to give it a five out of five. Ray Liotta hair pieces. Definitely a cult classic. It's going to go down as one of the best in that genre. A great time at the movies, cocaine fueled fun. Uh, you know, something we really needed in the movies with everything being serious and not a lot of good comedies. We got a good comedy finally, you know, another one to add. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get more, you know, movies like this, just fun, comedic, not taking it too, you know, itself too seriously and uh, with a great cast. And hopefully, you know, they've been talking about a sequel ideas. So I would like to see another one of these. This, yes. uh, this was so much fun. This is one of those movies that could do it. Uh, but with that being said, we both had a great time with this movie. I am going to give Cocaine Bear a four out of five Ray Liotta hair pieces. So when you hear from all your bear enthusiasts out there, what did you like about Cocaine Bear? What didn't you like about it? What's your favorite scene? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to slash subscribe also check out these wild rascals on facebook twitter and instagram and our website cinefellows.com for the latest greatest tv movie news and reviews man that bear consumed a lot of cocaine (laughs) in this movie hope he's gonna be okay in reality the bear would be dead just like the real one was in real life apparently it died a massive heart failure (laughs) and uh bleeding internally (laughs) after consuming the amount of coke that fell from the skies but uh i love what they did with this movie just a great time we want to hear from you guys what you guys thought about it did you guys like it and enjoy it as much as we did please let us know in the comment section we love hearing from you guys thank you so much for watching our review of cocaine bear we can't wait to review hopefully the sequel cocaine bear 2 or will it be a different animal to do cocaine next time Maybe it'll be a gator or something. That'd be wild. (laughs) So So thank you guys for tuning in to our Cocaine Bear Review. Until the next Cinefellas Movie Review, I'm Uncle Henry Hill. And I'm Uncle Bear Grills, signing out until the next Movie Review. Cheers. Cheers! We love you, Ray.